All right, now we can talk to Mustafa Kashesham, who's a journalist and political commentator, a university professor at the Fars Media Faculty. He joins us live from Tehran. Thank you for joining us. We've just heard that, as far as Hezbollah is concerned, this is a, an existential fight on the side of Bashar al-Assad's forces in Syria. How does this battle, how is this battle viewed in Tehran? Hello, thank you very much for inviting me. Well, uh, since the very beginning, uh, you know, Iran and Syria had several defense pacts in the last uh, three year, uh, 30 years. Even under uh, Bashar al-Assad's late father, Hafez al-Assad, Iran uh, and Syria signed a number of defense pacts. And uh, but since the, the, the unrest in 2011, Iran stayed away for a couple of years. Um, then when it saw that uh, tens of thousands of militants are pouring into Syria and it realized that uh, it could be a plot by the U.S. or Israel in order to disintegrate Syria into smaller pieces, um, Iran uh, uh, entered the scene according to the defensive pacts that it had with uh, Syria and at the request of the Syrian government. You know, Syria is a vital piece of what is called the res chain of uh, resistance or the resistance front um, for, uh, starting stretching from Iran to Iraq, Syria and Lebanon. Uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, it's neighboring Israel and Israel because of its threats to Iran along with the United States. States, they have always stood atop Iran's foreign policy, so Iran should always have uh, an eye on uh, the movements made by Israel. And in the meantime, Iran is supporting Palestinians and they neighbor uh, in most parts of uh, Lebanon and also Syria. So Syria is very important to keep this line alive. And because of Islamic beliefs, also Iran aided Bashar al-Assad, uh, a, a government, a Muslim government, uh, that's in the region that has come under attack by tens okay. of thousands of terrorists. All right, can I, can so I quickly, Iran sorry, sorry to interrupt you. Can, can I just uh, ask you how far kinship okay. is a motivating factor on the part of Tehran, given that uh, uh, Shiite, uh, the Shiite branch of Islam is the majority in Iran, and they share, you share a certain uh, kinship with the Alawites of Syria. I'm wondering how far that is motivating Iranian involvement in Syria. No, not at all, not at all. First of all, you should know that Alawites, uh, the minority in Syria, they are not Shiites. They are more, uh, uh, more similar to the Sunni uh, faith than the Shiism. Uh, that's number one. Number two, uh, uh, you know, uh, Syria is a secular state. It's not a religiously driven uh, government. And a reduction of such geopolitically important issue as the war on terrorism in Syria to a sectarian strife is very naive, I believe, and it, it is just, you know, uh, an insult to uh, many of uh, the, the different faiths whose members and followers are fighting for Bashar al-Assad, the Christians and the Sunnis, the Alawites from different faiths. You know, the enemy that is standing there, mainly the al-Nusra, the official uh, uh, offshoot of al-Qaeda that started all this mess in 2001 in, uh, uh, when it uh, struck at the United States um, and, and uh, the, it caused uh, several wars by the United States in the region, uh, they are uh, coming mostly, especially ISIL, Daesh, they are coming from Salafi Takfiri Islam and Wahhabi Islam that they say no matter you're a Shiite, Sunni, Christian, Jew, non-believer, if your uh, uh, beliefs are only uh, an iota, uh, uh, you know, a, a little bit different from what we believe, you should be killed. That means takfir. That means you are a blasphemous person if you don't think exactly like me. And uh, they are, uh, you know, an enemy of humanity. All right. Just uh, all throughout Europe, the 27 member nations went on a manhunt for hunting just one 22-year-old sure. guy like this, and they killed him in Italy. 
uh, and Iran, Syria, Russia, and their allies, they are uh, standing against tens of thousands of, ch of such terrorists. Okay. This is a, an issue of terrorism which is of vital importance, not just at regional uh, uh, levels, but also at global levels. For all the people, it's important, and people in Europe and the U.S. should realize who Iran and Russia and Syria are fighting in Syria. Okay, thank you very much, Mustafa Kasheshem, talking to us live from Tehran. Well,